Good evening. The investigation and exoneration of Solicitor General Cash Heed has taken a stunning and bizarre twist. Only hours after getting his job back as BC's top cop, Cash Heed is once again under a cloud because the prosecutor who cleared him of any wrongdoing amidst allegations of election fraud worked for a law firm that donated to Heed's campaign. It's led to chaos and frustration at the legislature tonight, and our reporter Shachi Curl has the late breaking details. There is no adequate way to describe the roller coaster that's been Cash Heed's career lately. He's gone from Solicitor General to backbencher, back to Solicitor General, and now an uncertain future. On April 9th, he resigned out of an abundance of caution, he said, after learning police were investigating him for alleged election fraud involving campaign flyers dating back to his hard-fought race last year. I had nothing to do with it. The campaign didn't endorse anything of that nature. We never would. Then yesterday, this man, Terry Robertson, the independent special prosecutor appointed by the government to review the case, cleared Kashid while charging three others connected to his campaign. This afternoon, he'd got his job back. I've done nothing wrong. The special prosecutor has made his ruling and uh, he has exonerated me. But then, later this afternoon, a bombshell. Remember Terry Robertson, that same lawyer who cleared Heed's name? Turns out his law firm, his employer, donated $1,000 to Cash Heed's election campaign. Even more shocking, Robertson knew about the money, says he didn't think it put him in a conflict of interest until today, almost four months after he took on the job. These are bizarre, almost unbelievable developments, and once again, they leave the Campbell government struggling to answer questions without much information. It's frustrating, you know, I, I'm, I'm angry. I mean, we have an independent process that everyone relies upon, the uh, public relies on it, the government relies upon it, and then uh, something like this happens. If Kashid was sweating, he wasn't showing it. When you got the news, when you saw that, I mean, what did you say? What did you blurt out? Sachi, a, a range of emotions, uh, but emotions uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm quite stable with, uh, given that I said and I maintain right from the start that I've done nothing wrong. But tonight there is a real and major problem with perception. The special prosecutor who exonerated him is a donor. Um, to the BC Liberal Party. Look, I have no hesitation telling you that you don't appoint someone to uh, investigate a matter uh, when uh, a firm they're associated with has made a donation to the, the very campaign that is the subject of negotiation uh, of the uh, investigation. Tonight, at least, the newly reinstated Solicitor General says he's not going anywhere. Will you stay on or will you resign? Well, I'm not going to speculate. Yeah, I, I've said right from the beginning, I will fully cooperate and I will continue to fully cooperate. Can he outlast one more crisis? Hang on, because this bumpy ride is far from over. In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News.